All right, in this video, we're just gonna talk about the differences between Adobe Photoshop and Adobe Illustrator. So Adobe Photoshop might be um, a program you're more familiar with than Illustrator. So we're gonna start with this. And I just wanna show you, um, I'm gonna draw some shapes with the shape tool and um, fill them in. Let's see if I can fill them in. Here we go, orange. I kind of want to fill them in with black. Here we go. Okay, now look at it closely. There we go. So looking at this shape, I've got a couple of shapes now. Um, let's take a closer look at what we just created. So Photoshop is what's called a raster-based program. So that means what we're doing right now is we're affecting pixels. So when I chose my new file, and I set it up, I chose how many pixels I wanted it to be. So it's um, 2000 by 1500 pixels. That's what I have on this. And what I'm doing right now is I'm creating shapes to um, that are actually modifying the pixels. If we get really close to the edge of this circle, we can see that it is actually not a straight line. It's got this kind of um, step pattern, this checkerboard pattern. And that's because we're just affecting pixels. We can also notice that not all the pixels are black, even though I designated the shape to be black, that some of them are actually different shades of gray. But when we zoom out to full scale, it doesn't look too pixelated. So um, this is great for photo based um, projects because photographs are raster images. They are created by pixels. If you've ever looked really close, closely at a photograph, um, you'll see the little pixels in it. Um, but when we're doing something more graphic, like shapes, um, we can use what's called a vector-based program, which is what Adobe Illustrator is, and we'll have a better result in terms of what we're um, creating something that's really like bold and clean and all of that. So I'm gonna draw some lines. Whoops, that's the wrong color. I don't know why I'm on white. There we go. So let's draw some lines with our brush tool. Okay, and then let's get closer to them. And you can see these are actually quite pixelated. So that is Photoshop. We are affecting pixels where basically the computer is, you know, this brush tool is telling the computer to make these dark lines and we get closer, we can see that. All right, now let's go into Illustrator. So in Illustrator, what we have is a, called a vector-based program. And so in this program, we are not affecting pixels as much um, as we are creating a mathematical object, which is kind of hard to wrap your head around, but I'll just show you what that means. So. Um, over here is where we have what's called our fill and our stroke. So our stroke is our outline and our fill is the filling in. <clears throat> so I'm gonna go ahead and switch those so that I have a black shape. Because we're not affecting pixels, we have to create these vector objects and then we can fill them. There is no paint bucket tool. And I find that is what, when people are transitioning from Photoshop to Illustrator, that is the part that a lot of people are kind of confused about. But here we have a shape, let's zoom in on it. Look at that. I mean, that is just beautiful, in my opinion. So when we're doing very graphic things like typography, which is what this um, next unit is about, we really want to think about using a vector-based program like Illustrator because we get these really crisp, clean lines. Another tool that we're going to explore in Illustrator that is really just like the backbone of Illustrator is this pen tool. So the pen tool really exposes these vectors. So right now I'm setting, you can imagine like when you're graphing in math, you're set, plotting these points on an XY axis. That's essentially what I'm doing here. I use the pen tool. I can create straight lines just by dragging by clicking and dragging. There we go. And um, what I also have is something called the direct select tool where I can actually pull these points around and move them and change these 
mathematical equations. So it's a it's a really different um, way of of working and drawing. Is this the curvature tool? Yes. So this is another kind of pen tool that's all based in curves to create curved forms. And in this one, I do have a brush tool. And you can see it looks pixelated to start, and then when you zoom in, it's actually very, very sharp. So we'll go deeper into this, but I just wanted to point out those differences. A lot of the same keystrokes shortcuts are similar. So like I can do command zero to get back. If I zoom in a lot, um, I can do command zero to come back. I can do command C to go back a step and um, many other of the same um, shortcuts, but fundamentally the programs are different and they can be used for different things. So if you are working with more raster images like a photograph, um, Photoshop is the way to go. But if you're doing something more graphic, something in the field of design or illustration or typography, photo, um, Illustrator is, I think, a superior tool just because when we go to scale this up, this can be scaled up indefinitely. This is a mathematical equation, and if you know how equations work, you can multiply like each side by a number and scale it up. The same with this, like because we don't have a finite, it's not about pixels, we don't have this like finite um, thing here, we, we can actually scale it up indefinitely. So it's a really powerful program. But again, it works a little bit differently. So I hope this was helpful as just a little intro. Um, I would experiment and play around, see how the different tools work, see if you can um, do some stuff that you did in um, in Photoshop. Like I'm playing around with like a little gradient right now, and just see if what the um, you know what the differences between these are. Okay, there we go. You can already see, like, here's a little illustration starting. So have fun with this, and we'll see you in the next tutorial.